So today we are going to talk about gene set enrichment analysis. So what is gene set enrichment analysis? GSEA or gene set enrichment analysis is a computational method that determines whether the defined gene set shows a statistically significant difference between two biological states. So for example, uh, to know about, um, about gene set, you should, you should have a basic knowledge about what is uh, RNA expression, how we perform the RNA expression analysis using RNA sequencing data or using the microarray data. These tutorials are available on my YouTube channel. You can go through the steps and then you can know how you can process the file, how you can get the normalized expression. And when you have the expression of your defined data set that can be of any disease or any any two biological uh, phenotypes for example cancer patients and the normal patients and then you do the rna expression and then you look for the normalized expression and after that now you want to know that which of those genes are have a specific pattern associated with any specific biological phenotype and uh, and the gsca has all those features which will help you to find the best possible, the most significant uh, gene sets out of your data set of interest. So how, the first of all, let's go and see how you can download it. You can just go on the GSCA website, just write that GSCA and here you can directly go here and there's an option to download this GSCA software. And then uh, this is very simple. If you have a login here, then you can just directly log into your email. Otherwise you can if you don't have, you can uh, register it and you can download from here. And for example, there are different downloaders for different operating systems. Here I'm working with the Windows here, so I will just click this one and it will start downloading here. And after downloading, you just click the installer and it will automatically install in your computer. So that is what we, I already have. If I show you here, this is the GSEA. And yes, and this software will be installed. And this is from Broad Institute. And here you can see that there are simple two steps to do the analysis. The first step is you should know uh, the input files. And the input file would be one would be the expression data set and the other would be the phenotype. So expression data set is the data set I'm talking about, like you do the normalized expression of your data set of interest with RNA sequencing or microarray. Then you get a normalized expression values. Uh, let's show you the formats. Go here to the Broad Institute website. You can see all the list of formats, like for example, expression data set, there's a GCT, RES, PCL, TXT format. All the details are available here. I will not go into the detail because everything is here. I will use the simplest format, expression data set format. That is the text format. The first column should be of the gene names or gene IDs or anything. And the next is the default with the description NA. And then all the rest of the columns contain the sample. Each, each column represents a sample with the expression of each gene. Like this TACC2 gene has expression in 46 in this sample, 82 in this sample, and so on and so forth. And we will have for all the uh, all the samples like this. And then the other thing which you see here, this one, the phenotype annotation file, which you have to make like this. And this is this is a defined format. So you have to follow this. The first would be the total number of genes, uh, sorry, total number of samples. That, and then this one, the classes. If there are two classes, then you mentioned the total number of classes are two. Two classes means that if you have a set of data set, then each uh, you may have two different uh, classes. For example, one would be one set would be of, or one class would be of a tumor samples, and the other class would be of the normal samples. And then the next I'll always define this with with one. And then this is the description. I'll show you the example. This file should be tab separated. And uh, let's show you the files I have already prepared for this analysis. For example, if you go here, this is the phenotype. Uh, for example, total number of samples, two classes, tumor and normal. And then for total 65 uh, values here, you can, uh, sorry, two classes here. One is tumor and the other is normal. And the other would be like this. 
first would be the gene IDs, then the description, and then for each column. So let's go and put that into the GSEA. So first thing is that it's very simple. You just have to load these two and, and select the gene set from this tool. And then you have to run it and this will give you a result. For example, you go here, load data set, browse files. If I select both of them and just, uh, yeah, open them and it will start to load these two files, loading two files, the tumor versus normal text file and tumor versus normal phenotype file. So it's already loaded. Now the next thing is I want to perform GSEA. So I go on the run and here expression data sets which I downloaded is tumor versus normal this one and then phenotype labels I downloaded. I want to compare tumor versus normal. Uh, okay. Yes, tumor versus normal. Now the gene set database you have to select one for example here there are different defined experimentally valid uh, data sets which you can use for example if i use here the this one the first one human symbols and i click ok now everything is set let me see what is this yes so i uh, so my file has ensemble gene ids so i will select here human ensemble gene ids this one okay and then i just have to click run So now it's retrieving the information from the gene set database of a human ensemble gene IDs. And then it's loading the two files. And you can see on the left corner that now the results are running here. Yeah, it will take a bit of time and then you will have a result. So this, this whole process is very fast and you can get a lot of informative information from your normalized expression data set. So keep in mind that if you want to run GSEA, first you need to have the raw files and from the raw files you need to process the expression of your data uh, of your expression of your normalized expression of your data set. I can show you if you while it's running like if I go to my channel here. Everyone, today yeah, I will sorry. explain you how to. As you say, there are different ways. This is RNA-seq whole tutorial. And it will give you a gene expression here if you follow all these steps. Otherwise, there are also for microarray data set, there are different expression microarray data normalization tool. You can use this for your analysis. And then there would be other as well. You can find them all here. And then, for example, if I show you here. Yeah, microarray data normalization. So this, you, if you follow this tutorial, you can have this, this, this set of data normalized. And then you just have to arrange that according to the GSA format, like just put this column. And then you can upload it here. So the result is done. Now here you can see that it's showing success. So if I click this, so it is giving us a report. So total number of, there were two phenotypes. One was tumor, the other was normal. And there are 30, 27 samples with the tumor and 38 with the normal. So there are 43 out of 50 gene sets upregulated in tumor and only seven out of 50, which are upregulated in normal. And, and then there's, you can say that they have divided them into most significant and less significant groups. For example, here you can see that oh, there is no uh, gene set which is significant with less than 25% FDR false discovery rate. 
and then there's no gene set which has less than p value less than 0 0.01 but there's one gene set which has a significantly enriched value with less than 0 0.05 so if we go to the if you click snapshot you can get the enrichment results of all if you click by tabular form so you here you can see that there is only there is no uh, significant but here it was showing one with the enriched with less than 0 0.05 so there should be one yeah this one nominal p value that is point less than 0 0.05 so this hallmark of apoptotic apoptosis pathways are regulated here if you want to go into the details of what gene sets are here so it will give you this beautiful enrichment plot which is a publication quality plot and people use this for the analysis and this out of this data set whole 22000 data set this set of genes are significantly enriched in this tumor class like for example this one cd44 and so on and so forth we can also see the heat map between the two groups which is very interesting and very informative and you can use it for your research the other group is the normal here you can see that there is no significant uh, gene sets which are enriched at less than 0 0.05 or 0 0.01 and with the less than 0 uh, 25 percent fdr yes so this is the enrichment result here so total number of that genes were around defined were around sixty thousand ensemble gene ids and then yeah and you can also download the ordered gene list and if you want to see the heat maps you can also the most significant heat map you can also check here so that's the simplest tutorial uh, which will uh, guide you through the steps how you can do the gene set enrichment analysis using your data set of interest thank you very much and have a nice day